Hey everybody, this is Clayton, come back with a new video. This one's gonna be a little bit different than usual. This one's more of a tutorial aspect. I will be making another video this week about my portfolio as always and going over the news. Um, but I've been getting a lot of questions recently via YouTube, personal email, and Twitter, and I've helped a few people out, but I figured making this video might be best. And it's specifically, how do you add new stocks to a pie in M1 Finance without essentially redistributing all of your funds? And I'm gonna literally hold your hand through this one and show you guys exactly how to do it. Um, many people asked, but the one I'm going to show and you're seeing on screen right now is from Mindset and Reps. So let's just dive into this. So as you can see on my portfolio, like I said, we're going to go over, I'm going to legitimately show you how to do it. I'm going to add one to my portfolio, show you how it works, show you how it would be because I've got where my cash balance always sits at 150, but I'm going to show you if I change that, uh, how, it, how it'll distribute and how it would pay out. So you'll see with my pies, I've got, I think I've got what, eight? Yeah, eight different pies distributed different percentages. We got 32, 16. You can see them all. But for the purpose of this, let's make a new pie, a new slide, and add it to what I've currently got. So to do anything, before you do anything along those lines, the first thing you need to do is the top of your screen, click research. Under research, you would click my pies. I kind of made a test just to make sure I was doing everything exactly as I want to show it, but I'm going to do from scratch for you guys. So let's you click create a new pie. And now you're going to pick the stocks you want. And I missed out on a joke on my last video that somebody commented about when I was talking about with this, the pies. So I'm just going to go all out on it now. So since we're making a new pie, let's throw some apple uh, into that pie. Let's throw some uh, cherry hill into that pie. How about we get some berry? We can get some berry corp to that pie. Uh, what's some other ones maybe we can do? Uh, let's do key lime. Uh, Limelight Networks, throw that in there. And then maybe just like a little Cheesecake Factory, because who doesn't love a good cheesecake? It's basically a pie. Um, and then I guess we'll finish it out with, uh, let's do like a Pop Belly, Pop Belly pie. So just as those examples figured I'd be a little funny. So you simply would just click add. Now it'll bring me to the next screen, which is your pie. Um, it says new pie, you can edit it. Let's edit it to just say, um, I want to name it YouTube tutorial. And this is a oh, nice conversation. This is to show how to do it. So let's just go with, and yeah, we'll just leave them at how they figure they want to distribute it at their hundred percent and then click save. Don't click add. Cause if you click add, let me show you when you click add, it's just gonna bring you right back to the stocks again. And obviously that's not where you want to be. Um, I'm just going to click escape so I can go back. So I'm here, you click save. And now this custom pie will be saved under your research tab under my pies. So again, go back to your portfolio. And this is for anyone that already ha doesn't have any pies in their portfolio. If you want to make a new pie, it doesn't matter. You're going to click edit on my portfolio. And then you're going to click add. And then here, when you see this at the top, you're going to see stocks, funds, pies, expert pies, your watch list. Click my pies. And let's go with a YouTube tutorial pie. We will add it to the portfolio. So now we see that it's at 0%. And the question I was being asked is basically, how do I change it where anything I add to the portfolio won't redistribute my funds? So to show that my method, I think this is the only method. I don't think there's another way. Let's just do it uh, together. So let's go 86%. And we'll change the rest of these all to 1%. Oop, I did the math wrong. What's that, 90, so 90, 92? Am I dumb? Yeah, 92. Okay, so 92. Same thing, don't click add. That's gonna ask you to bring you to a whole nother pie again. So we'll click save. Yes, are you sure you wanna make changes? Portfolio, any removed slices will be sold during the next trade window. So what that means, I'm not removing anything from my portfolio right now. All I've done is lower the percentage. If I put the percentage to zero, all of the stocks in that, port in that pie will be sold. So if you're looking to simply Add a new pie and not sell anything. Just do not change it to 0%. You can put it at 1%, you'll be perfectly fine. So click yes. Let it load. And as you will see right now, my pie, first off, has changed dramatically when it comes to the balancing. Um, but as of right now, I've got no upcoming trades because I keep in my account 150 cash always. But let's just change for the sake of this video. We'll update it to $5. Now, what you're going to see is my... M1 is now going to automatically update and show that I'll have trades pending Monday. And what you'll notice is 
all of the portfolio, the pie I just made, is what everything's going to be bought into. So let's go down. We've got six buys. Now, obviously, you've seen, just so I can show you, let me go to my, to my holdings. You'll see I've got 20 stocks in my portfolio. So if I did this the right way, all it should do is go to my new, the new stuff I just put into my new pie. So let's go down to your six buys, upcoming trade, view details. Under those details, you see I've got six buys for $145. And it is everybody that I just added to my portfolio and nobody that I was sitting in before. I have zero sales, as you can see, and six buys. Now, obviously, I'm not keeping this in my portfolio. It was simply just for purposes to show you guys that I've had questions. It really is that simple. Um, once you've put it in, obviously, you're, if you're not putting any money in right now, that doesn't matter. The next time you invest, it will go towards your new portfolio because all M1 Finance cares to do, let me change this back to 150, is keep your portfolio balanced. So to them, all they do is they just simply look at your uh, actual, tar actual amount that you've got in that account versus your target. So because like, let's say commercial, for instance, I've got 29% of my entire portfolio is in commercial. So the only time that any money is going to get put back into this account again is once the YouTube tutorial account, quote unquote, hit 92%. And this is sitting at below 1%. It's going to distribute my money until my portfolio is as close as possible to my target uh, percentage. So for anyone, I hope that answered anyone's questions. It really is simple. Um, M1 can be a little bit confusing at times. Anyone that has asked, I really do hope this, hope this helps. If you like to see other material, uh, specifically from me, I have an entire channel dedicated to following my portfolio, going over the news, going over stocks I like, why I like them, going over why I invest. Um, dollar cost averaging, as anyone that probably watches this channel knows. Um, but I truly do appreciate anyone that's here watching this. If you have any other questions, feel free to message me below in the comment section. You can send me a tweet on Twitter. It's Clayton's Cash 891. 89 was taken, sadly. Again, that's Clayton's Cash 891. I'll have that linked in the description. Or shoot me an email if you want to ask a more specific question. Um, I can gladly help you. I've helped many there as well. At Clayton's Cash 89 at gmail.com. And that's just C L A Y T O N S C A S H 89 at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Please consider subscribing, liking this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. And as always, y'all come back now, you're here.